big again with another freaking video. But before we get started with today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time I drop a banger. Send this to your mom. Send this to your dad, send it to your uncle, send it to your aunt, send it to your sister, send it to your brother. Turn me up. We're on the road to 600 subscribers. When I hit 600 subscribers, I'm gonna do my first giveaway. So turn me up. But enough talking, let's get right into the video. Alright, so y'all, we're gonna get started. I'm probably not gonna show all of them. I'm probably just gonna show like a couple of them because some of them just like, you know, just casual, you know, shoes that I just used to wear. So we're gonna start right here. If you're a sneakerhead, you know what kind of Jordan is in this box. So everybody know, everybody should know. So we're gonna start off with the Hyper Royal Ones. You know it's fire. My um girlfriend actually got these for me for my birthday. Like I wanted these for a grip. These joints is like fire. These probably like in my top 10 favorite ones. Like these joints go crazy, like. These joints go crazy, and I dropped a fire pick in these joints too. But yeah, these probably like my top ten favorite ones. On to the second pair. Now the ones box. Now if you know, you know we got some Travis Scott ones high. Oh my god, these sneakers go crazy. I wear these joints through the dirt. But they still look a little, like they don't look that bad. These joints is in pretty good condition. When I first got these, all I did was wear them with the pink laces, but now I switched over to the black. And yeah, this this probably in my top 10 also. I gotta get the new Travis Scott um, ones if y'all seen them, and joints are crazy too. But yeah, clean, nice clean shoe. I didn't get them for retail, so I had to pay a little, well, a lot of it extra, cause if you know, you know. But yeah, this is a dope shoe. So right here we got some pet and leather gold and black ones. These joints go dummy. I have not worn these yet. I have not worn these yet. Um, I don't know when I plan on wearing them, but these joints is clean. Like, I don't know. This is a, a really good shoe. I don't know. I just I wouldn't put them in my top ten favorite ones, but I definitely do like mess with them heavy. Like they different. I would have never got no pet and leather ones. Unless they probably like blue. But these joints is crazy with a nice black outfit. You could do some things with these. So next, we got the court purple one. Oh my god. If y'all if I could if y'all like understood the the madness I went through to try to get these shoes, it was ridiculous. Like I wanted these shoes so bad. I had so many nice outfits for these shoes. Oh my god, bro. Like, I love these shoes and I don't even wear them that much. But these joints is wonderful. I put in the um, like the light purple laces with them, they go hard. But this is a cool shoe. This is definitely in my top 10 favorite ones. I don't wear no mids, no mids. All my ones is high. So, yeah, these joints is clean. Nice little purple. They in a not bad. I mean, they creased a little bit, but they not bad condition. Like, I keep on my shoes in good condition. Next, we got these little, uh, we got these little Gucci slides that I also got as a gift for my birthday for my girlfriend. Shout out to her. I was looking for these joints for the longest, and I couldn't find them nowhere in my size. I don't know how the hell she found these in my size, but those was good looking. I don't know when I'm going to wear these because summer, like, it's like running out, but I definitely got to wear these before the summer out because these joints is fire. Yeah. Bio hat Jordan ones. Oh my god, the craziness I went through for this shoe, also. Oh my god, y'all wouldn't even imagine. I went through so much with this shoe, dog. I didn't even pay retail for this, I had to pay the resale price, which really wasn't that bad. Um, I pay, I think, like two, like 250 for them, and the, re the retail price probably was like one, 130, 180, something around one something. But I paid like $2.50 for them. I still haven't worn them yet. The black laces in, in here. But I think when I saw them, when I might put the pink laces, I just don't know what I could wear with these. Like, I be trying to match them up. 
but I don't want to do too much because it's already a colorful shoe, so you gotta do something real calm or something like this. That's just because the sneaker already stand out alone by itself. So when you wear this, you gotta put on something real calm, but but you know something that's gonna flow with it, right? You feel me? But uh, definitely in my top ten, he's on fire. It's a lot of crazy um colorways in this. It's a lot of things you could do with this with this shoe. And we gonna get into the dunks. These are the vest gray and white dunks. Ha! These joints go crazy too. I haven't worn them yet. I know it looked like I had, but I haven't. I was going to wear them, but I really wasn't feeling how they was looking with my outfit. These joints go crazy though. I recently just started getting in the dunks because I don't know. I really wasn't like a, a crazy fan of like low top sneakers. And my first dunks was low tops. And I'm going to show y'all them. I had came across these and I'm like, these joints is kind of fire. And my um, my girlfriend actually got these for me too. <laughs> these joints is fire though. You can't really see. Let me see. You can't really see, but these joints is really crazy. Now these is my low top dunks. I wore these once. These joints go crazy. Love these joints. These probably like... One of my favorite pair of dunks that's low only, you know, bing with the low, but these joints is fire. These, these joints go dummy. I don't know, like, I think they call these like the, I think they call them like the panda dunks, but I'm not sure. Like, I got older and I forgot like all the, the names of my sneakers, but when I was younger, I used to have this point. Next up, we got these uh, silver, white, and black ones. Let me see. These joints go crazy, but I haven't worn them yet. They come with the silver laces. They different, you know. Haven't worn them yet. Don't know when I plan on wearing them, but we going to give them a wear. I wouldn't put these in my top 10, but they... I just feel like they are one that I had to have, so I just grabbed them and I did pay retail for these. I feel like I shouldn't even have to show these because if you know, you know. Always keep a pair of fresh um, cocaines on your feet. I rarely, yo, rarely see me re-wear forces, but I had got a real good pair, which is these ones on the top, and I think I'm gonna re-wear them. But rarely I don't really re-wear them because like, I don't, I don't know. You just gotta always have like a fresh pair of the bus open when you go out. Love the Air Force Ones. Can't go wrong with them either. Come on. This, this, this is a, a, a crazy box, man. So we got the Travis Scott Cactus Jack Forces. Oh my God. Y'all, like, I wanted these so bad. Like, so bad. And I got them as a graduation gift from my brother. These joints go so, 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 so hard. Most people will probably call them ugly. But I feel like if you a sneakerhead, these joints will definitely go hard for you. These, these, um... These was a, a pretty penny too. Travis Scott prices is up there, but these joints is definitely fire. I think I only wore them once and I didn't really get a good wearing them because I just wore them like to take pictures and after that it was a wrap. Like, these joints look brand new. These joints is fire. Like even the box, like I got a thing for boxes too. I gotta, I'm gonna tell y'all a story later on in the video how I bought sneakers just by the box. I didn't want the sneakers at all. I just got them because of the box. We got Yeezys, Yeezy slides, simple, simple. Didn't pay retail, had to pay the resale price. Cause the Yeezy supply site be on some bull. Like if you ever try to get on the Yeezy supply site, to um to get some Yeezys or a slides or anything, it'd be so many like bots on there you really don't have a chance of getting no Yeezys unless you OD lucky like and that never happened with me. These Yeezys is out the box. These is right here. 
these Jones is fire, 350s. Great shoe. These Yeezy is beat up, bruh. But these is the Wave Runner. Um, Yeezy 700s. Oh my god, I wanted these so, so, so bad. I got these like a while back. But I ran these joints through the dirt, as you could tell. Like, I did these joints crazy. But I love this shoe. I probably won't wear it no more as much as I used to. But I definitely did wear these a lot. Right here, we got the Chunky Dunky Nike SB Dunks. These joints is ridiculous. Like, oh my God. These is a pretty, pretty penny. I did not pay retail for these. And I only wore them one time, but they still look pretty good. These shoes is bananas, yo. If you know, you know. Like, literally, like, these... These shoes really go nuts. Next up, I got these um, Rev Simmons. These shoes go crazy. Nice, good, casual. Go out to eat. Go on a date show. Um, I got these a while ago, too. I had um, the story behind these. It's funny. I had seen these on Instagram, like, one time. And I was like, these is, like, these is kind of, like, the ugliest shoes. Then I kept seeing them. The more I seen them, the more I seen them, I'm like, you know, these drones kind of fire. Like, they different. And I originally wasn't going to get this colorway. I was going to get the pink top with the silver bottom. But I'm like, no, let me just rock out with these. And then when I got them, I had them, tried them on, took pictures of them. I'm like, man, these drones is really kind of fire. So I'm glad I got these. These are a good pick. Next, we got some Gucci sneakers. These drones is kind of beat up. I wore these a lot. Like, when I first got these, I wore these a lot. Then I wore them for my um, high school drive-by, Zoom call graduation. These joints is pretty beat up, but these is a great, these was a great shoe. Like, you know, I like these a lot. I really like these. These are sterile. Next, we got the off-white. I don't know how you pronounce the name for these, but just know that they off-white. These joints is fire. Pretty penny. Um, feel like you're walking on clouds with these. I know y'all see the spikes at the bottom. Great shoe. Definitely want to get another pair of these with a different color. Uh, these is the Bel Airs. Um, I don't, I don't really, I ain't really crazy about them. I don't, I'm not really crazy about them at all. I've been trying to sell them, but nobody was really fighting on them. And I don't know why. Probably because of the size on them. But um, I wore them a couple times just because, you know. But they not a bad shoe. I just, like, I don't know. It was just one of them shoes where I felt like I had to buy them. But I really don't like them. But I wanted to buy them, so I just wore them. I paid retail for them, so it really wasn't that bad. When I say ran through the dirt, bruh. Oh my god, I got these for my 17th or 18th birthday out in New York at Flight Club. Did not pay retail, pay resale. These ones was like 280, like between 280, 300 in that price range. It, it was like I had to have these, and I don't know why, because I don't really, I don't really dig them no more. But these joints been through hell and back. I don't know if you can really see. But these joints been through some things. Like, I probably would never wear these again. Like, but when I was younger, these were, I wanted these so, so bad. One of my favorites. Had to have the Shatter Backboards. Not the, not the, the original joints, but it's part of the Shattered Backboard collection. Did not pay retail for this. Had to pay retail, but I had to. Because I was, I originally liked them when they came out. I was just skeptical about the bottom. Because I didn't know if the bottom was supposed to look like yellowish like that. But the more I'm seeing them, I'm like, yo, like I gotta hear these. Like, these is really fire for real. 
I ended up getting them and I warm, 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 warm. And they still in a pretty good condition. Like these, I mean, it's a little like, you know, like, but they could, they could come off. They could be clean. But these ones are fresh. Like, and I still have yet to put the orange laces in, but I think I'm gonna just rock out and keep the black laces. These joints been through some things. They don't even really look that bad. Um, I forget what these is called, but they some they some thorough ones that I I had to have. Man, I wore these so many times. They need a little cleanup, but they don't look that bad. Like, but they could use a cleanup though. You feel me? Fire show. Um, I did pay retail for these. Great show, leather show. Um, you don't really bust this shoe down with anything. It's really not that hard to get busy with these, you know. So we got some 12s, real classic, real calm. Um, how do I feel about these? I'm not crazy about them, but it was like another one of them shoes where I feel like I had to have them. Like, I don't know, when I tried them on, I'm just like, all right, these kind of look good on my feet. Let me step a little out of my comfort zone because I don't really like Jordan 12s. I don't like Jordan 12s at all. But it was something about these. And I'm just like, I think I really need to get these. Like, I don't really bust these down with something nice. And I really have a really warm for real. But these joints definitely go crazy. If you know, you know. The story behind these is ridiculous, bro. I don't even know what these is called. All I know is that these Jordan 11s. These joints go retarded. Have them warm in a while. They a little bust down. They a little ran through. But great show. Really great show. Um, I went through a lot for this show. I really wanted it. I feel like I had to have it. And I got it. I wore this. When I got it, I wore this like a lot. Like I really wore this shoe a lot. It's a really, really, really great show. Hold on. Let me try to fix this so y'all can see better. Because I feel like y'all really can't see the shoes that good. Really, 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 really popping shoe. Um, I would get this like a eight out of ten. These, these is really, really, I really, really, really like the these eleven. Pay retail for them. Retail for these was two twenty. I'm gonna keep it a beam with y'all. I don't know why I got these. I don't like this shoe at all. Um, at all. I don't like this shoe at all. I don't know why I got it. I don't, I don't know. Cause even when I tried it on, I really wasn't feeling it. So I don't know when we get it. But yeah, these are just some Vapor Max Plus. I don't really wanna. Don't wear them, never worn. Never probably gonna wear them. I'm just not even going to show no more Vapor Max. I'm just gonna move on to the next. We got some Air Max Ones. Oh my God, y'all. I could not find these shoes nowhere, and I wanted them like so, so, so bad. And uh, one day I was just on Nike.com, and I just simply like happened to come across. I'm like, nah. And these joints, I got these joints for retail. These joints were like eighty or ninety dollars, but I really, really wanted these really, really bad. I don't wear them no more though. But these, these joints are a little creased. They're a little beat up. I went crazy about trying to get these shoes, y'all. Y'all understand? All right, so with these shoes right here, these are just regular Air Force Ones, but I had custom made them myself. Just, you know, trying out something new, trying to see if I could, like, be in a different lane and do something that I probably wouldn't do. And I did, like, some SpongeBob. It ain't the best, but, you know, I tried. Let me see the lighting. Is, the lighting is a little bright. These Jones is really not that bad. For like a first timer that don't know what they doing, I feel like I really completed the mission with these. You know, I took pictures in them. They not the best, they not the best, but they some, you know? Now right here, we got some uh, Balenciaga track. <sighs> Love this shoe. Not really crazy about Balenciaga, but when it comes to Balenciaga tracks, 
definitely will grab another pair of these. This is my only pair. I haven't really got no farther with no other Balenciagas. Um, I love these though. These drawers go nuts. Um, you can really, you can really dug these out with a lot of things. These niggas really go bananas. Like I really like this shoe. This is really a clean shoe. Next we got some Dior's. These, these, oh my god, I love these shoes, y'all. But I, I, I don't really wear them that much because of they white. But this shoe is freaking amazing, yo. Like, I feel like you cannot go wrong with these. Like, if you don't got a pair of these Dior's or, or I don't, I don't know. Because some people might not like them like I do. But these is, these is a great shoe. Beautiful shoe. Right here we got some Christian Louboutins. Um, amazing shoe. I really, really had wanted these for the longest. And I think this was probably like one of my first pair of designer shoes that I got for myself. Um, dope shoe, let this shoe. Um, couldn't wait to grab this shoe. Pretty penny. Um, I wore these a lot, as you can tell. I definitely want to get a couple more colors. I really, really love this shoe. Like, this is really a dope shoe. Like, I don't know. I just feel like you can't go wrong with some lubes. You feel me? Dope shoe. Um, I'm not really crazy about them. I really only got them to go to Disney World, and I have not worn them yet. I'm going to wear them when I go to Disney World, but great shoe. Um, yeah, never worn Pretty penny. Well, not pretty penny. Cause I feel like all these, all this style of Gucci sneakers go for like eight ninety. But uh, yeah, great shoe. I really would not wear this shoe unless I was going to Disney World though. McQueen's, Big McQueen. Um, highly do not recommend this shoe. It's probably the most uncomfortable shoe I ever tried on in my life. Um, good, nice, nice looking shoe. Like. Great, love Alexander McQueen's, but nah, these Jones is OD uncomfortable. Like, I even took the soul out of these Jones and everything. Still OD uncomfortable. Um, the first time I wore these, I was going to uh, a party. Once I got to the party, took these off. Highly wouldn't recommend getting these, but I be seeing a lot of people with Alexander McQueen, so they must fit y'all. I don't know, maybe it's just something on my feet. Because I got these and I got another pair, and these was my first pair. Um, and I'm like, this maybe I just got the wrong size. Something ain't right. These Jones is OD small. These pair right here, same way. And I got a whole big size. These, these gold bananas. Um, had to have this shoe. Um, most people probably wouldn't mess with this because all the glitter. But I like shiny stuff, so these kind of like hit home for me. Like I said, I got a whole size up from what the other ones was, and these y'all still OD tight. I don't know. Maybe I just need to wear like a thin ass sock. But yeah, um, this is probably like a one-time thing. I got these for my birthday. Yeah, I will wear them again, but not just just because. It got to be like a reason why I'm wearing them because they uncomfortable and they shiny as hell. And I just feel like this is not like an everyday shoe for me. My camera had cut off. Don't know why, but we still grooving and moving though. All right, so we got some uh, Jordan 13s. Um, back when these came out, I wanted these like so bad like you could not tell me that I was not going to get these shoes and I got them wore these drawers through the dirt played basketball in them did a lot of things in these um these drawers been through some things but great 13 wouldn't buy no 13s again that's not my wave no more but this is a great great show oh my god I even hate to show these shoes in this condition but these is the Space Jam 11s I I did these joints so wrong, y'all. And if you're a sneakerhead, I know this probably hurting your heart right now. I wore these joints to the dirt. Another bas another another shoe I played basketball in. Went went crazy in them. Um, 
I will get these again. Got some Jordan 4s. Um, not crazy about them. Just another shoe I feel like I had to have in my collection. Wore them a couple times. You could, I don't know if you really could see, but it's a little yellow. A little yellow. Um, uncomfortable shoe also. Uncomfortable. Fours is uncomfortable to me. These was probably like one of my first pair of Jordan 1s. These Jordans is beat. These Jordans is beat up. Um, I got these out of Vegas. Paid retail. I don't know how I paid retail. These Jordans were just sitting on the shelf. Nobody wanted to buy them. So I just grabbed them. Great Jordan 1. Another great shoe. I know what y'all probably think. Man, no, this is not the same shoe. If you could tell, the Nike swoosh is different. This, this clearly has black in it, black laces, black Nike swoosh, black inside. Great one. Um, ran these joints to dirt too. I don't really like these joints no more as much as I did. Pay retail. Now, these shoes right here but do some things. But I wouldn't have a sneaker collection if I didn't start off with these. If you know, you know. LeBron 9. These Jones been through some things. I played ball in these. I did a lot in these. These is like a LeBron 9 Hornets, I think. Um, I never will wear these unless I'm playing basketball. And I don't play basketball no more, so you would never catch me wearing these. But I feel like I can't do these out. I gotta keep these a part of my collection. Because I love LeBron, I'm number one fan. Um, these joints used to go crazy. It's got the little hornet on the back. I love this shoe. Like, if he came out, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. If he came out with a whole new pair of, like, a whole new different colorways of LeBron Nines, I definitely would be copying. And I got another pair. Ran these joints for the dirt too. This is my first pair. I know y'all probably be like, oh, they ugly. But if you know, you know. I played basketball in these two. Ran these to the dirt. This is my first pair. Uh, the bronze and this is probably like my first pair of like like thorough shoes probably my first pair of thorough shoes because like i don't know i used to be in i feel like everybody went to the advanced stage and everything but when i got these yo i was so hyped played like i don't know these is just good shoes i think i I, I paid retail for both of these. I mean, I think it was like 130, if I'm not mistaken. 130, yeah. But yeah, that's the end of my sneaker collection. Oh, you can't forget the Crocs. Don't forget the Crocs. Sight no. But yeah, that's the end of my sneaker collection. I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, I'm going to be coming with a part two very soon when I load up for more heat, which is coming really, really soon. Um, make sure y'all stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We out of here.